hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be very exciting because i'm going to share my top 20 favorite artists with you uh, this artist mostly create traditional art but some of them create digital art as well and are available on youtube as well as instagram so stick till the end because i'm going to share my top five favorite artists at the end of this video so the very first artist is house sketcher and this artist has recently created his youtube channel and uh, he's showing his process of work how he creates uh, these lines and these strokes with alcohol marker so these are mostly urban sketches of the houses and he believes in mistakes so what i mean by that is he does not lay down a perfect line art but he creates this beautiful imperfect lines and that is why i love his art because it is not focused on perfection but rather on the process of creating art um, if you see his choice of colors and uh, he actually lays down multiple uh, layers of alcohol markers or colors on top of each other and that's why it is so beautiful so do check out his youtube channel and instagram as well uh, so the next one is emily hugs i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing her name right but uh, what I like about her art is that she uses these big square brush strokes to create the con contours of the faces which is simple yet so effective. I love her gosh paintings a lot. The use of colors in her artwork is very unique. I mean look at this cute cat. So adorable. So do check her channel and Instagram as well. The next artist is known as Clown Art and I admire the detailed artwork this artist creates. It's just so colorful and so different for some reason. This, this artist also uses watercolor and I think gouache as well, but not sure. And look at this cute little yellow thing. And I don't know, just I don't just have these artists in my favorite list because I have many many more artists uh, which I follow and admire on YouTube and Instagram but I'll share all those uh, later in upcoming videos and hopefully if you ever get a hard block or feel uh, less motivated then you have these artists to learn from and I'm sure you will be motivated immediately so look at this color choices man seriously I mean I just love the way they draw paint everything and the colors they choose it's just so amazing. So the next artist is Audra Auclair. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right. Uh, but I found this artist from YouTube recommendation and I'm in love with the artwork. Now I'm not sure what medium this artist uses but it looks like gosh and ink for some reason. I love the way this artist created this illustration. Like look at the mushrooms and the backpack and the pose like everything here is just so perfect and uh, the colors also so this is like my favorite artwork so artwork so far it looks so shiny and it's just one color just black and with the help of one color the artist has achieved this i mean look at it so what i usually do when i feel little down some days is I go to YouTube and I rewatch all these artists videos so I can relax a bit and get my energy back. Whenever I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is to watch at least one video from any of these artists and start my day with that. And trust me, it gives a boost of energy that lasts for a whole day. And it makes me want to paint again, which is always a plus for a lazy artist like me. So the next artist is Christiane and she has a very unique art style. So this artist actually creates a very clean line art and the use of colors on the skin like the shading of the skin, the peaches and uh, pink colors and everything it looks so amazing. I mean look at those eyes, the eyes look so juicy. <laughs> yeah and uh, there are so many vibrant colors that she has been using and the white highlights everywhere and this is with the alcohol marker I, I believe she uses like alcohol marker and pencil I suppose but look at the color of the skin it looks amazing and the vibrant color on the hair and look at those lips these are like very juicy 
so it looks amazing because the choices of colors and the line art is what actually defines her uh, art style also if you see uh, these colors like i would never believe that a full red portrait will look good this good so yeah the next one is angela pan art and she mostly uses acrylic markers not sure about the brand but almost all her artwork is done using acrylic markers which looks so good when she is creating the artwork but when i tried to follow the process i failed miserably i just couldn't use acrylic markers maybe i just need more practice but yeah it is not an easy task to create something so beautiful and detailed with just acrylic markers unless of course you are a pro so if you see she is like laying down all the colors on top of each other and it looks amazing yeah so the next one is ogigi art i'm not sure if it's her real name uh, but she uses gouache paints and you won't believe the amount of different colors or shades she uses in her artwork it is so colorful because she mentioned that she always mixes many shades of same color by adding cool or warm tones and never uses the same shade throughout which gives this amazing variation to her artwork she is the one who actually inspired me for trying out the gosh colors and i think i'm loving it so far uh, the amount of details in her artwork is just insane i want to paint a gosh painting like her someday i mean look at those colors hand variations and pinks and yellows and oranges and here you can you can see like many many shades of green so this is how she creates uh, like her artwork very detailed so the next artist is huta chan and she works with watercolor as well as inks so the first video i watched from her channel was of using a glass pen with ink uh, to create anime style portrait and i thought like who can create a finished artwork with just inks and a glass pen but she proved me wrong and i immediately followed her on youtube and stalked all of her instagram instagram account and artworks what i see in her art is that she makes this subtle changes to turn her portraits into anime style so it is actually a mixture of realistic as well as anime style and uh, the use of brush strokes takes it to different level you can see her uh, line art as well as the choice of colors is just so amazing now the next one is margaret morris uh this is the artist who also uses watercolors but the amount of details in her artwork is just unbelievable so i'm not really into realistic portraits because i like anime style more and huta chan and margaret morrells creates these anime style artwork which i like the most so go check out her channel but here if you can see she uses like these amazing combination of colors so uh, see this is like a complementary colors we can say and look at this one and it is so beautiful to see and look at her work the next artist is a special one actually his name is josh and he mostly works with pencil sketches which are very stylized but his artwork is not only the thing i like about him i like the way he edits his video and the aesthetics of it he is not just an amazing artist but also an amazing youtuber He has recently started using gouache colors I believe and he also likes Studio Ghibli so I had to follow him for sure His pencil sketches are also very intriguing I mean it are, these are like stylized in a very unique way and look at this gouache painting that he tried This also looks amazing if he is if he is saying like he is trying the gouache the first time I don't believe it because this is so amazing and uh, yeah this is like a studio ghibli uh, painting and it's one of my favorite so far 
So the next artist is Chris Hong and I can assure you that her art style is like the one you have never seen before. It's not our typical portraits, typical anime style portraits or illustrations. She just creates very very unique paintings uh, and she uses watercolors and colored pencils. Not sure if she uses any gouache paints but, but mostly she uses pink, blues, yellow colors. Uh, variations which look so magical and I love the way she uses pencils to add some texture in her painting so look at this color I mean this blues greens look so amazing and these illustrations are I mean I don't I have never seen someone do such kind of illustrations. these are very unique kind of clown arts but I just love it So the next artist is Claude Vick and I love this artist because the colors that are being used in the artwork are so vibrant. I mean look at this orange shade. These, these are so good because these go together very well and this is also a very unique il illustration because you never see anyone do this type of illustrations. I mean look at the colors and uh, the way she is painting it, I, I believe this is watercolor and I just love the different variations of the colors and this is just amazing. And uh, the amount of detail on the skin also is amazing. I mean look this is very simple, very very simple just I believe one or two colors but this looks so pretty. Huh. I just want to paint like her someday. Next one is Pensiliando. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but this artist also uses a very vib vibrant colors. And I believe they use uh, marker, pencils and some gouache colors, I think. But look at this. I mean, the I love red a lot. I, do, I love peach, oranges. These all colors are my favorite. And look at this, I mean this is just amazing. The colors, the illustration, the amount of details there. And this one is my favorite one I can say because I just love the shading on the nose and lips and under the eyes. Uh, yeah, I mean this is mostly like she has very vocal art style I can say. But I just love it. So the line art is also very clean and the hair, the teeth, you know, it's just amazing. So the next one is Sokemura. I just recently came across this artist and um, I mean, uh, the language that she speaks in, I'm not sure. I don't understand it, but I just love her video. So I keep on rewatching everything. So the details, uh, you see, it's all done in watercolor, but it is so detailed and her hair the i mean she creates such wonderful voluminous hair with watercolors i just love it see there are so many textures uh, not so many textures there are so many shades on her hair those are just amazing and of course this is like a kind of anime style so i had to love it you know i'm just crazy about animes and look at this this is also done in watercolor and it looks so amazing it looks so realistic it's just unbelievable and look at this one this one i just love the hair there are so many brush strokes so the next one is effie we are in top six i believe now so this one this artist uh, does digital art as well so in past i have uh, created a video where i followed uh, how she you know um, paints her skin digitally so I have followed that video and I tried to replicate the art style and what I like about her art is it is so magical the sparkle in the eyes of this artwork is amazing the use of colors and I believe this is gosh so most of this is gosh only and I, I think there are like pencil textures on top 
but this looks amazing and look at this this looks like a digital one but i just had to add it because the colors are so amazing this one as well i just love it look at those eyes this is like very simple but yet so effective So FA is like one of the oldest one that I'm that I have been following on the YouTube. I didn't check her Instagram that much, but for this video, I went through her Instagram and I came across some lovely art pieces. The next one is Sour Candy. So this one also has a very unique art style, but this is kind of a, I can say a little dark one. <laughs> because look at this this feels like very intense intense to me and the eyes the lips are so juicy just with the two colors they these artists can create like amazing artworks and i'm just looking forward to all of their videos because i just want to you know paint like them so if you have observed most of their art styles are very unique to them I mean obviously I cannot you know recreate their creations but look at the colors the coffee color the purplish brown color not sure and this is done in pencil so so many textures we can see see this one is also in pencils but it is very vibrant and this one I believe is done probably digitally but the colors the texture is so amazing yeah and the next one is kretleski so we are in the top 5 now what i love about kretleski's artwork is it is so detailed there are so many so many so many uh, elements in her artwork that it makes it amazing so mostly she draws these mermaid and witches and you know such a magical creatures So look at the textures look at the amount of details on everything and she also uses gouache paints and uh, she also does like digital artwork she has her own uh, book also published i think i believe she has like couple of books published and i have seen the videos like people opening her video uh, opening her books and just going crazy so look at this like a mermaid She has many many mermaids but every each and every one is very unique. Um and this is the artwork that I love the most. I mean she is using this uh, textures, digital textures and all which I love the love a lot. This I think I believe it is like half tone texture or something. And look at this. I mean it's creepy in a way but just amazing. Next one is Kellogg's Loops. and this artist is actually a pro in creating these portraits so most of the time if you see he is using this blue black and red colors but these goes really well together so he uses like this watercolor technique uh, which is very loose in the beginning but at the end it comes out like detailed one look at the skin it's just flawless and what i love about it is it is not totally like a complete portrait we can say or a painting look uh, he has like left her hair and all those things empty so nothing is drawn or painted on that but that still looks so amazing so he uses this gold uh, details so if you observe his paintings so he has this gold elements which are like uh, gold leaf leaves which are stuck on the painting afterwards and the uh, highlights the white highlights that he uses are just so good i mean look at the eyes he sold out all his art uh, in a in an art gallery and it was like a big achievement it was like a big achievement for him because it was his first gallery and all of his artwork were sold out
the next one is cosmic spectrum art so i believe we are in top three now so cosmic cosmic spectrum art also has her own books published and if you see she has also very detailed artworks so it's just so amazing because it is kind of uh, dark but it's like a fantasy ones so i just love such things because these are not like very uh, you know uh, common ones because look at this this is like you need to be a pro to create and such wonderful textures and such wonderful artwork so she has a book so go check out her book and i believe you will love it so the next one is alma luna and this is my favorite one uh, this is the top one we can say like the first ever artist who is who has been on my list forever and no other artist is able to you know beat her because she is my favorite one and i don't think i will ever replace her artwork with any other ones this is because her artwork is also very dark but the use of colors and everything is so amazing so what i love about uh, her artwork is uh, the color of the skin is different because she uses mostly blues and pinks for the skin colors so blues for the shadows and uh, pinks for the skin color actually and if you see the details and i mean it's just so amazing that uh, an, an artist can draw something such wonderful with just traditional paints so she does digital as well but i love her uh, traditional paintings so much so thank you for watching this video and i have like hundreds of artists in my list so if you want more artists to be displayed here i can just do that and i have digital artists also so i have a list created for it so if you are interested then please let me know and i'll see you the next time bye bye